Hello, this is Thor Gunnels. Today we'll be exploring Nearpod. It's a web platform that can be used to adapt and enhance your existing lessons, making them more engaging, effective, and enjoyable for you and your students, either in synchronous or asynchronous environments. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel or by clicking on our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking on the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with Nearpod so you can go far and beyond with this powerful tool. This video presupposes you already have a Nearpod account and can basically navigate around the platform comfortably. If you're a complete newbie, please check out the Nearpod beginner videos located on the Dear DIS YouTube video channel. When you initially come into Nearpod, you have a few options. Either you can log in with a lesson in mind or you can let the ideas that you find here enhance what you already plan to do already. I'm gonna show you a few lessons that'll illustrate the utility and the variety of things you can do with Nearpod to enhance your teaching and make it more engaging. As mentioned before, you can go over to the Nearpod library. You can look at current events. You can search for lessons by subject, by grade, by standards. I already have something in mind. I basically wanna do a background and enhancement to my King Lear unit on Shakespeare. The first thing I'm gonna show you is about Shakespeare's theater, the globe. Now, what I've got here is a nice splash page, something for the kids to look at when they come in. Next, there's a VR version that I have in, included in here. There is a field trip that you can do on Nearpod and you can search various places. This just happened to be one that I found. Very nice, allows the kids to go around. Then I've got a little discussion here. You know, what are some challenges just based upon what you just saw the audiences and the actors might face when seeing a play at the Globe? They can type the responses in here. They can even do uh, the text or pictures. Now I've got a little YouTube video that I've included and the YouTube video is of King Lear actually at the Globe. And not only does it a good performance, but it also gives you an idea of what it feels like to be sitting in the audience and what it might feel like from different angles. This one ends with a poll. It just ask a simple question. Would you like to see a performance? Would you enjoy seeing one at the Globe? And this can be the start of a discussion in class. Next, I've got King Lear Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3. These are all using resources that we've purchased from Teachers Pay Teachers. So it just give you an idea of what you can do to jazz up even things that you've purchased outside of the school. Again, I've got a nice splash page, something for the kids to look at when they come in. Here's a review of what they're going to do. They're going to take a look at the included PDF of Act 1 notes on review, and then they're going to be instructed to type out short responses at the end. I've embedded the PDF in here so that the kids can go through, they can see it, they can read each one of these, they can take notes on it if they need to in case they weren't paying attention while we were doing the play in class. Then they've got the questions embedded. Here are the question, here's where they can type in their response or they can record an audio. What's neat about this is that I've done this on every one, so that if on the second one they feel like they don't feel like they want to type, they can record their audio. Act two, I've done something a little bit different here. There's the splash page again. Now this one, I've included Flipgrid responses, which allow the kids to use their phones, they can use webcams. There's also the notes again, just like before. They can take notes as they come through here or just use them as a review. And when they get into Flipgrid, things get completely crazy. You can include so many neat things in here. You can just record the response based upon the question that's given. You can use an immersive reader to help you read things inside the text. You can even embed videos in here so that the kids can get in here and then play a video of this is a review of a summary of Act 2, Scene 1, in case they just didn't understand it. Next one, I did something similar. This one is talking about Edgar's decision to play a completely different character called Tom of Bedlam. If you click on this video, it shows you 16 different versions of Tom of Bedlam. Very cool. Then they can record their response based upon that question. And this goes on and on, just like that. Finally, I've got this version, which is using the exact same materials, but in a different way. Now this one, what I did was I'm using it as an embedded uh, presentation. So I took the PowerPoint, I used Nearpod and the extension with Google Slides, 
and I uploaded it. So now it runs like a slideshow. Now the same thing with this one, the kids can take their notes, they can just review, and then when they get to the end, which I'll fast forward here to, again, we have open-ended responses. You can type the response in, you can record an audio, you can do a number of things with this. This is barely scratching the surface of what Nearpod will do. This just gives you a taste of what you can do with three different uh, versions of the same resource from outside and one that I've created myself. If you have any questions or you would like any further suggestions, please reach out to me. I'm listed as Eric Gunnels at the district, or you can reach out to Case Sellers as well. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and you learned something today. And you can go far and beyond, above and away with Nearpod. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos, or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.